Hi guys, Squall here. I'm going to venture into the world of Steam. Now, you know I've held off on this one, and I did stream it a little bit. Stream some Steam, that's hard to say. I did stream some Steam at the weekend, and I've kind of learnt roughly the basics of it, and I've been so dying to have a go of Steam. I've got so many cool trains. But this one in particular, Falmouth Branch Line, is, is appealing because I've been to Falmouth, and I know how beautiful the countryside is down there. Uh, if you're not familiar with the UK, it's kind of bottom left if you like uh, right on the tip of Cornwall it's, that's where Falmouth is right down there beautiful scenery some fantastic uh, train lines and this one kind of appealed to me was it this one or this one the dawn shift the maritime shift take control of the Cornish Riviera Express on this rare occasion that it sees taking the sights of the beautiful Falmouth branch line in docks well as soon as I read that I thought that's me that's what I'm doing the train is a GWR um, Hall 4900 class. Um, not familiar with that class myself, but that's what we're doing. I think GWR is the Great Western Railway or something like that, as it used to be back in the 19-somethings. <clears throat> um, I'm guessing GWR, that's what it stood for then. Don't know if it still exists, but this is the train. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to give it a go. Alrighty. Wheel slip? Why have we got wheel slip? Why have we got wheel slip? Get off. Random wheel slip. I think it's a 1%. Yeah, there we go. No, stop, 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 stop. Stop slipping the wheels. Stop it! Why am I getting wheel slip? They release the pressure of the brakes then. That doesn't make any sense. I'm losing points continuously for doing nothing at all. Okay, uh, right. Pick up passengers from... Oh, luckily there's no particular... Pick up time, apparently. We're not sticking to a train schedule. <laughs> this is my first goal. Let's press T. Let's get the doors open. This is the Truro branch line. The task list is to pick up passengers from Truro and take them to Falmouth. Let's have a quick look at the... Ooh, what's that train? I can hear a train. Oh, wait, he's going backwards! <laughs> I drove a steam train on the stream and um, it was... That's the way it went because obviously if you're sitting here, you can't see very much. And some of the steam trains, you kind of look out that way because they don't have a coal bunker behind them. That one seems to come in backwards. That is so cool. Anyway, um, we're off, or due to be. So, what I need to do is I need to release my brakes. I need to put my... I need to put that on 100%. And I need to put this... Whoa, and we're off. Crikey, we're off. Um, I'll explain these controls in a minute um, as best as I understand them. To back off the pressure just a touch. You can see the green... It's gone red, which means there's a lot of pressure. Just back off the pressure. Gently does it. Oh, look at this. We're in a steam train, guys. Listen to that. Listen to it. It's fantastic. That sounds so good. But this is the best thing. Listen to this. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. It really doesn't. Now, I need to back off on, on um, the control a little bit. I'm just watching my eyes on the pressure. Green signals. Ooh, the old-fashioned signals. Wonderful. Just checking my cheat sheet for the controls. There are some special controls that you need. Now, wait a minute. We're going to go too fast. Oh, we're up to 60, but coming up to a 30 zone. I think I'm going to stick at 30. How good is that? This is brilliant. I am in love with that. Right, I'm maintaining 23. I could probably go a bit faster. This is so good. It's so nice to be finally moving in a steam train. I know they pollute the atmosphere and all the rest of it, but they're just bloody brilliant. There's something wonderful about them. There's something... Man and machine, you know? You can physically see and it's doing its job. It's such a simple thing in, in principle. Oh, hang on. We're about to speed.
you know, boil some water, get steam, build up some pressure, move some pistons, take it to the wheels, train goes forward. Oh, it's so good. British engineering at its peak, this was. All made the Industrial Revolution possible, didn't it? Right, we're about to go up a hill by the look of it. Yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> as I was saying, the reverser, okay? The way the reverser works on a steam train is a little bit different. Um, the the reverser, this controls the, if I remember, this controls the, the pressure coming out of the boiler into the pistons. I think that's right. Uh, and this effectively opens up the... Oh, what does it do? This opens up the pressure from the pistons to the wheels, effectively. Think of it that way. So you kind of a two-stage process. Uh, this is the one that you want to control. This is more like a... I was told to think of this one as a bit like a gear. In that it physically drives the wheels. If you push it forward more, it will drive the wheels more. But equally, this one controls the pressure um, out of the boiler into the pistons. So you, if you put this, these two up too much, you'll get too much pressure over here. Now, I'm still getting to grips with the principles of steam trains, so I'm not an expert yet. I'm sure there's people writing comments right now correcting me, and I'm fine with that. But do it in a nice way. I am still learning. And you know I like to learn and play, and you guys watch me learn, and I do get better. If you've been recently watching my stream at the weekend on Flight Sims, you'll know exactly what I mean. This one here is the water, so with the steam trains, obviously, we do have to fill the water up. I've got automatic um, coal management turned on, so I don't need to worry about that. Because you, you can, if you want to, get involved in having to put the coal into the... If you look inside here. Into here. Um, managing the coal, effectively, to keep the heat in the boiler. You know, you can make it pretty realistic if you just have a look at the dials. Uh, pressure required. Various pressure gauges. Not exactly familiar with all of them. Anyway, let's look at where we are. Centre player. Okay, we're here on the Cornish Riviera Express. We came out of Falmouth Local. And we are travelling down... Ooh, what's that? What's this? Just an approach. All the way down here to Falmouth. And Falmouth should be on the coast. Obviously, we can't zoom out anymore. <clears throat> but Falmouth should be on the coast. And this promises to be a very, very pretty trip. Look at that. One day, I want to travel on one of these things. A steam train. I've never actually done it. I know it probably stinks. <laughs> There's a lot of coal, com coal fumes coming out of here. I've got to do this. I love it! I love the way the acoustic changes when you blow the whistle. Fantastic! And I think the drivers of these trains often did stick their head out of the window. Like that. Because, you know, let's face it, the view in here is pretty minimal. You can lean in, adjust the controls, stick your head back out the window. Can't resist it, I'm sorry. Now we're going downhill, so apparently I can back off on this now because I don't need I don't need the boiler pressure so I can save steam. And you can see the pressure here is going back up now, the boiler pressure is going back up. So I'm not using any of my... I'm actually going to speed, I need to turn the brakes on slightly. Apply the brakes. Bring it back under 40, there we go. Weirdly enough... Weirdly enough, there's a... You don't put the brakes on minimum on this, on a steam train. Often you'll put them on running. It sounds counterintuitive to have the brakes on 10%. Apparently, it's something to do with the fact that if you have it on zero, then the train has to apply pressure to keep the vacuum on the brakes. I'm not entirely sure how it works yet, but when you get going, what you need to do is put that brake here onto about 9%, which is running setting. And that will ironically give you more pressure and more speed. And I'm about to speed again. I'm not doing this on career mode for a little while because 
I'm just not good enough right now. Okay, 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 release the brakes, release the brakes. You can hear the, pr if you listen carefully, you can hear the, you can hear the various pressures being released. It's really cool. One thing is if you stop on a hill on a steam train, it can get pretty messy trying to get going again. And the worst thing is to lose the pressure in the boiler. That is absolutely the worst thing to do. Uh, because it takes it so long to get the pressure back up again. Let's zoom out and have a look at this wonderful scenery. Oh yeah. Oh yes, look at this. Cornish countryside, a steam train, a bridge. What more can you ask for, guys? What more can you ask for? Right, we stop in here. No, we're not stopping here. It's just a station. We need to do 30 through it, so we better. Let's go on the other side and have a look. We need to just apply the brakes to touch. So if you apply the brakes and then release them completely, I think that's the right thing to do, then put it back on running. That certainly seems to work. We are losing speed. Things take time in the steam trains. It takes time to get going, it takes time to slow down. You've got to kind of plan ahead. I would not like to do a steam train against the clock in a schedule because I'm, I'm, I'm not used to the controls enough to actually manage this but it is doable if you stick to some basic principles you've got to learn a few a few new tricks to do with the the reverser and managing the pressure but on the whole steam train coming through oh yeah oh yeah be impressed be very impressed. School logistics are now into steam trains. <laughs> right, picking up some speed. Perhaps a little bit too quickly. It's quite a cloudy day. I would have liked to have been a bit of a summer's day. That would have been nicer. Trying to manage my speed up to 30 because we're about to switch to 40, but not yet. Bloody mouse cursor. As soon as we go through, there we go. I'll open up the reverser a little bit. Because we're about to go up an incline as well, by the look of it. One, two, three, four, five. Is that six carriages? Can we get a view inside? Oh, there's no view inside. What a shame. Okay, I feel like we're suddenly going quickly. <laughs> Let's just back off the touch. That's better. That's a nice maintenance, maintaining speed. A nice speed to maintain if I could speak English properly. I wonder if the drivers actually switch sides like this. I wonder if they alternate so they can see where they're going like that. Because obviously when you're inside, the, the controls are kind of facing this way. But you would have to jump to the other side, wouldn't you? Like that. Just to see what's going on, see the signals. Obviously in the UK, the signals are on the left here, because we travel on the left. Right, I'm going to start pushing more pressure out now, because we're about to climb. I can see the speed starting to drop. Oh, another tunnel! Another tunnel! Guess what I get to do? Oh yeah! I'm sure there's a protocol for this, but I'm whistling my horn before I go in to warn anybody in the tunnel, and then when I get in, I'm doing it again because it sounds brilliant. <laughs> Has he got a bell? Oh, it is another bell. That's a shame. I 
maintaining this steady 34. Wonderful. In the days of the uh, American Wild West, a horse could keep up with this. That's <laughs> how so the Indians used to, uh, you know, travel on the horses and jump on the on the train and try to murder everybody. What do they call it? They call the steam train the Iron Horse, I think. If I remember, that was their name for it. We sit here. This is mostly steam. On some of the trains, you can get that to turn black. I don't know if that's all of them. Admire the view. If you've been watching, if you did watch the steam, the, the stream on Twitch that I did over the weekend, you'll know that I got the hang of, I got confused by steam trains at first. I didn't know how to manage the controls properly. I'm still learning, but you'll also know that I was streaming some flight simulator for the first time, and that was interesting. That was very interesting. Um, of course, I started the stream off going, right, we're going to play some flight simulator. Um, what plane should I fly? What did the answer come back as? A Boeing 747. Why? Because it's the biggest thing in the default game. Like, wait, let's get scored on a 747, lol. I don't think a lot of people appreciate just how difficult a 747 is to fly. Like, flight simulator is a proper simulator. And there's just a, a hundred different buttons in the cockpit. Literally. But um, with the help of guys in the stream, I managed to get the thing off the ground. Uh, and with some more help, I managed to navigate my way from, I think it was Gatwick to Glasgow Airport. And then everybody was like, okay, I'm going to grab some popcorn now and watch this crash into Glasgow. <laughs> and somehow, as we got near, I turned off the autopilot and I landed a 747 at Glasgow Airport. I don't think anybody could actually believe what they were seeing. It was hilarious. I must admit, I do like the freedom of flight simulator, the ability to fly from one country to another and just land at different airports around the world is very, very appealing. Right, I need to open the throttle a little bit here. There we go. We're about to go over the brow of a hill by the look of it, so then it's all downhill. Just watching my pressure over here. The back of the train. Oh, it's lovely and quiet back here, isn't it? Eh? What a completely different experience that is. Do we're going to get smoke in our face if we do this? Move! You're going to get covered in soot. <coughs> I wouldn't want to be on the, that bridge when that thing went past, would you? <laughs> uh oh, crap. Picking up too much speed. We're definitely going to need some brakes. Oh, we got wheel slip. We got wheel slip. Trying to brake too much. I don't know why we're getting worse up now, I'll be honest with you. Okay, I just panicked. I just had a mini panic then started mashing buttons a little bit. I was trying to get down to 30 and I think I was just way too aggressive on the brakes. And that caused a load of wheel slip. I think we're just going to put that on zero roughly cruise down here. Right. Let's apply the brakes a touch. I've got to get down to 30 before I enter Penryn down platform. It's really weird. The, the braking is really strange. If you watch the braking versus my speed. Not off. 
I haven't worked it out yet because this, it goes through various stages. Obviously, release is a full release, but that requires Steam to hold it there. Running is what you normally have it on. Self taps, I believe. Come on, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Self taps, I believe, is some kind of hold setting where you, it holds the brake at that level, but I haven't mastered that yet. But even now, you see we're picking up speed coming through here. Coming through! Slightly speeding, but let's not worry too much about that, shall we not? It's just between me and you. Lovely scenery, actually. I have to say, lovely scenery. Oh crap, we're going down the hill again. <clears throat> Time to get some brakes out! And yet again, I'm, sp oh, I'm speeding, not wheel slip, I'm speeding. down the inside lane. Oh, I've just killed all my momentum. I totally overbraked. Oh, nice view, dude. Look, here's the coast. Is that the coast? I think that's the... Yes, I believe that's the sea. That will be the Atlantic. So if I put the reverser on 0%, I should in theory hold my speed on a flat slope. Oh, there's, there's smoke over there. What's that? Oh, it's a chimney. Some kind of factory. Let's have a look at it this way. Yeah, some kind of little factory by the coast. <laughs> hey! Oh, trees get out of the way. There we go. Yeah, it looks very kind of industrial-ish, doesn't it? It's still burning coal. That implies that this thing has been set in a, in a previous era. Do you know what? That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? If this, if you could actually, if this game was set up so that you could play it in different times. You know, different decades is what I mean. Um, so you'd see people dressed differently and the cars would be different. Or if you went all the way back, you can have like a 1900 version of this game. Um, what was that game you used to play? Was it like Transport Tycoon? I think it was Transport Tycoon. And when you started out, it would start off in 19... Oh, what was it? 19... No, 1892 or something, I think is when it started out. And you would start out with the very, very basic steam trains. And then as technology grew, as you went forward like to the 1980s, you'd end up with maglev trains. Uh, sorry, 2000, I think it was, then you'd get a maglev train. But if you could do that, something like that, not obviously not all the decades, but if they brought DLC packs out, a 1900 scenery pack, if you like, and you could basically take a train and drive it in the 1900s just to see what the scenery looked like, like the signalling would be from that time, the platform signs would be from that time, people walking around in, like, top hats and stuff, it would just be, it could be a lot of work, but it just be incredible to be able to do that. It would look so good. And obviously you wouldn't have the same cars and, and trucks. It would be totally different. People walking around and going around on horses and things. Ah, I dream. Let's pick up some speed. Oh, they're about to go down the dreaded hill again. Um, What time are we due in? ETA 11.58. Would you supposed to arrive 11.59? So surprisingly, I'm on time. I find it helps if you speed a little bit. <laughs> oh, steam. It's been a while. I've wanted to get into the steam trains, but finally I can. Right, I'm going to reduce a lot of the stuff right now as we go downhill. We can effectively go down on the train's momentum, I think. There we go, picking up speed. Now self taps, what does that mean? It's not doing anything to my speed. So I'm going to have to apply the brakes a little bit. Let's 
self taps. Is that holding it? I'm guessing that you have to do something like push it onto a setting and put it back on self taps and that will hold it. It's going to be some trick like that. If you guys know what that is, you could let me know. The moment I'm holding a fairly steady speed. I'm just going to release it again. And then apply some brakes and then go self tap. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to work out what that does. If self tap is some kind of lock settings, then obviously I have to get the right brake pressure and then lock it. That's my thinking. Anyway, I'm going to try and get this thing down to 30 now without slipping the wheels. This is the destination platform. Whoa, we're, we are wheel slipping. How can we be wheel slipping now? I've released the brakes. <laughs> Got one yellow light. One yellow light. That means my platform may be full. My platform may be full. I should probably slow right down and be prepared to stop, shouldn't I? Just in case. Oh, you wheel slip. No, you see, I'm still a bit of an amateur at this. I'm getting a lot of wheel slip. I'd be in career mode. I'd be losing so many points. I'm just going to cruise in, just in case I suddenly get a red signal. Oh, look at this! Look at that! And the sun's coming out. The sun is coming out. Awesome. Awesome bit of scenery. Let's just start the brakes a little bit. Stopping this thing is going to be particularly tricky. Uh oh. Oh. Whew. It said 15. I thought there was a speed limit drop to 15. Wheel stop or not. I'm putting the sand down. <laughs> I felt like I was going just a bit too quickly at that point. You see now I've got the I've got the brakes off. I'm just trying to cruise in. A little bit too slowly. But hey, I'm a complete beginner. Steam trains. I've got to admit, I like the look of this. This is amazing. Absolutely. It's just so cool to look at. We're on that side. A little bit too slowly, but you know, I'd rather that than smash into the bloody barriers at the end. Because I'm going too quickly and I can't stop. Because I, I just haven't got the hang of this braking mechanism yet. I need to read up on what the various settings do. Incoming! We are here, dudes. Oh, he's got a little hat. Yes, he's got a bowler hat on. Oh my god. He actually does. That's incredible. I think I should be stopping here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at Falmouth Station. All depart. Falmouth Docks. This train terminates here. Because they didn't have those announcers in those days, so I'm guessing somebody stood on the platform and just went, All terminate! Get off the train! We're actually early. Somehow I managed to get everybody here early, even though I was pretty much going under speed. Wow, I take it all back. They actually do have different outfits. Did you want you look at that? I've still got wheel slip. Constant wheel slip. I'll tell you 
tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to press C, I think it is. To eject a load of pressure. I think that's the, the cock stop pressure or something. And then J is another one. I'm trying to release the pressure out of the system now. Hoping the wheel slip will, will just stop because... I think it's something to do with the brakes. Again, I don't fully understand it. Well done, arriving at Falmouth. Let me just take a million points away from you. Oh, no, it didn't. Speeding twice. Passenger freight comfort level exceeded 0.002% of the time. Well, <laughs> I class that as a failure. Wheel slippage, 7% <laughs> of the time. Travelled 11 miles. In career mode, that would have been a bit of a disaster. There's so much wheel slip going on there. If you guys have got any advice on the braking and stuff, then please do comment and let me know. But that was my first trip on a steam train. Um, in this game, I have so many more. I have, I forget what they are all on now. They're all in here. There we go. Look, I have so many steam locomotive scenarios to do. That once I get the hang of this, it's going to be great fun. Anyway, don't forget, click like if you enjoyed the video. And you want to see me do some more steam trains. Until the next video, take care guys and see you soon.